Let's go. And you will say, oh. boy today and today is the second Sunday in Lent so it's the Lord's Day today is the 13th day of March 2022 and for your lab boy today I'm declaring to you comfort from above and I pray for you that you will receive comfort from above in Jesus name we'll be reading from what prophet Isaiah wrote when he walked on the surface of the earth through the land of Judah, we're reading from chapter 51, and we'll be starting from the first verse, so we can learn and be able to pray for more of comfort from above. If you're sad, let's go. Hearken to me, you who pursue deliverance, you who seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the quarry from which you were digged. Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, who bore you. For when he was but one, I called him, and I blessed him, and I made him many. For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places, and will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving in the voice of song. Listen to me, my people, and give ear to me, my nation. For a law will go forth from me, and my justice for a light to the, to the people. My deliverance draws near speedily. My arms will rule the peoples, the coastlands wait for me. And for my arm, the hope. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look at the earth beneath. For the heaven will vanish like smoke. The earth will wear out like a garment. And they who dwell in it will die like nuts. But my salvation will be forever. And my deliverance will never be ended. Hearken to me, you who know righteousness. The people in whose heart is my law. Fear not the reproach of men, and be not dismayed at their revelings. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, and the worm will eat them like wool. But my deliverance will be forever, and my salvation to all generations. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in the days of old. The generations of long ago. Was it not thou that did cut Rahab in pieces, that did pierce the dragon? Was it not thou that didst dry up the sea and waters of the great deep, that didst make the depths of the sea a way for the redeemed to pass over? And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing everlasting joy that will be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sign shall flee away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank God for this comfort that came 
according to the words of prophet Isaiah. The comfort from above that is referred to here is the comfort that will be coming after Judah would have gone into exile in Babylon. So when prophet Isaiah was writing this about 750 BC, in fact, the going into the exile had not even begun at all because the going into the exile happened maybe about 200 years later because it started about 597 BC and it went on for quite a while. And you know, there was always uh, one season or the other of either Israel or Judah or both being in exile in Assyria, in Babylon, being overrun by their neighbors, the Amalekites, you know, the Syrians and all that. But comfort from above was also promised these people after all of this. And it actually came to pass that they eventually had comfort from above. So what's the lesson for you to learn from this? Is that you should also learn to put your trust in God. And perhaps in your own case, in fact, never do anything that will get God so annoyed as to suffer the kind of wrath that the children of Israel suffered because they went seeking after other gods. They went seeking after comfort from around zones near them rather than seeking the comfort from above, comfort from God that loved them, that took them from the land of Egypt, that took them to the promised land, and they now go to the promised land and they could not hold on there because they started following the gods of their neighbors and even of their tenants, so to say. People that came to live with them brought the gods of Baal to the children of Israel. Therefore, as you seek comfort from above, then be assured it will come to you. But there are terms and conditions. And part of the terms, or perhaps do I say even the most important of the terms, is that you are also in that comfort zone of being in Christ. You must be a Christian for you to enjoy comfort from above. So, you want to give your life now, I'm inviting you straight away to say this prayer after me so that you can also become a Christian and continue to enjoy comfort from above. So, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I also want to enjoy comfort from above. Therefore, Forgive me of my sins. Let me have a new lease of life from today. Let me be one with you, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, then welcome to the family of Christ. And henceforth, you'll also enjoy comfort from above. Find a Bible-believing church close to you. If you have found an Anglican church, that would be a nice place to be. And if you're in Oshobo, come to the Anglican Church of Rokia State Extension. Together, we'll enjoy comfort from above. All of us now, let's say this prayer. Say, dear Lord of all comfort, I rely on you today in Jesus' name. Give me comfort from above so that it will always be well with me, I pray in Jesus' name. Therefore, go out today, this beautiful Sunday, that's after you've gone for your church service, and make sure that you enjoy comfort from above. Spread the word to others about this comfort from above so that you can bring many others into the family and we can extend the coast of jesus christ here on earth so that many more people can come to the knowledge of him and enjoy comfort from above as you do that i pray that the lord will bless you in jesus name i call you faithful i call you faithful.